Six-four senior from Augusta, Georgia. Six points, four rebounds per night. Third guard is Brock Finstoon, the six-four senior from Pine Island, Minnesota. Eight points, four rebounds per night, making his first start for the Vikings. At the fourth guard is Des Moines Hodge, a six-four senior from the British Virgin Islands. Thirteen points, two rebounds per night. State going left to right, Penn State Baron right to left. We are set for tip-off for today's game here at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. It's Johnson versus Flisnick. Johnson wins it back to Parker, and the Vikings come ahead against the Penn State Baron man-to-man -man D. It'll go high post left to Spider Johnson. Hits Des Moines Hodge on a backdoor cut, throws it out to Finstoon on the sidelines, but a hot potato he couldn't bring in. Out of bounds it goes. Turnover, Cleveland State. Penn State Baron will take over for the first time. 14 seconds into a scoreless game. Well, it's not the way the Vikes want to start out. It doesn't matter who you're playing. You want to be efficient. The front court is Seth Myers as he bounce passes a left wing to Flisnick. The Vikings in a man-to-man. -man. Here's D. Gregorio with the basketball. Now Myers out top on the dribble. Ten to shoot as he heads to the left wing. Throws the top of the key to Flisnick. Hits to the right wing. Corner right, the ball goes to DiRienzo, and it's knocked away. Johnson has a long outlet. Hodge at mid-floor. It's a three-on-three. -three. Up ahead, Parker go to the rack, forced it up. No tip, Hodge, yes. First two today for either side. Two-nothing. Cleveland State, 55 seconds in. Really good hustle by Hodge that time to get the, the tap in. Here mid-floor is Flisnick. He's got some full-court pressure. Back pass goes to Isaac D. Gregorio, and he crosses the timeline on the far side against Hodge. Goes to the baseline. One hands a pass out to the left wing, and R.J. Marsh takes it to the baseline and turns and bounce passes it out to D. Rienzo. High post left it goes to Flisnick at the elbow. Five on the shot clock. He'll go sideline right to D. Gregorio. Tried the three. It's partially blocked. Goes out of bounds off the Vikings with two on the shot clock. And Penn State Baron will have it on the baseline, trailing the Vikings 2-0. A minute 22 seconds into the contest here today. The Vikes are very active defensively. Baron looks a little bit nervous. The bounce comes right wing to Marsh. There goes the three at the buzzer. Got backboard and nothing else. Vikings would add a run out, but the shot clock expired. So it's a turnover for Penn State Baron. Cleveland State will take over. Leading at 2-0, 18-34 on the first half clock here in Cleveland here today. Both teams enter with a mark of three and two. First ever meeting between Cleveland State and Penn State Baron. Penn State Baron coming off a loss to Baldwin Wallace on Tuesday. Cleveland State has won their last three. It's Johnson out behind the arc, left wing, bounce to Gomillion. Left side of the lane, goes into the paint, turn around, one-handed shot from seven, no. Rebound tipped and collected by Penn State Baron. Here front court comes Myers, double teamed. In trouble around mid floor, looking, looking, looking at a pass cross court. Far sideline, Marsh has it. He'll get it over on the right wing. D. Gregorio on the right sideline. Marsh for three. It's short. Hodge, the Viking rebound. Two minutes in, Vikings by two. Long ball ahead, deflected away. Stolen by Seth Myers for Barron. In the front court sends it over to D. Gregorio. On the right wing, lob it down low, a catch made by DiRienzo, put the shot up, no, and the rebound's taken by Finstoon for the Vikings. He'll come in left to right, throw a corner left to Parker, drives baseline, we've got a whistle and a charge called against Deshaun Parker, who ran over Isaac D. Gregorio. First foul today against either side, it's on Deshaun Parker at the 17:41 mark, 2-0 Cleveland State. Well, the Vikes' uh, previous couple games seem like they cleaned up their their slow starts today. They're not they're not really getting out of the gate too fast. Not the way you want to prepare to go into the conference season. You want to be crisp. Stefan Malinkovich comes in for Owen Flisnick. Malinkovich, 6'5", sophomore from Fairport, New York. Penn State Baron basketballs. They work to the basket to our left. It's 2 0. Cleveland State. In the right corner with it is Marsh against the man to man. Dribbles to the mid post right. Throws it back on the right wing to D. Gregorio. Dribbles to the baseline. Double team forced it up. No. Finstu. Another rebound for Cleveland State. For Brock Vinstu, that's his third. Up at Hodge. Right wing triple try in the air. There is long. And the rebounds collected by Isaac D. Gregorio. For Barron. Up ahead it goes. DiRienzo in the front. 
court. Goes to the right corner with the pass for Marsh. Marsh tried to send it in, deflect it away, right back to Marsh. Over to DiRienzo, his three-pointer is no good from the right wing. Johnson, the Viking board. Neither team shooting well here in the early going. Cleveland State, one for four. Penn State Baron, 0 for five. Two-nothing Vikings, 16-45, first half. Parker on the left wing, around the screen to the right elbow. Picks the dribble up, throws it out to Hodge, left wing. Send it to Johnson, sideline left, handoff Hodge, left sideline, 10 to shoot as he penetrates baseline. In the paint, passes to Finstoon, try to get it in Johnson. Dropped, picked up by Penn State Barron, and they'll come ahead right to left in a sloppy game. De Gregorio in the front court against Parker, and the ball stripped by Finstoon, a steal. Gets it to Hodge, he's in front of the pack, going to the rack, lays it in. Demoy Hodge, four, Penn State Barron, nothing, 345 in. And in the front court, Seth Myers heads to the left wing. Pass near sideline to Marsh. Out top it goes to Milinkovic, knocked away by Johnson. Johnson into the front court, picks it up on the baseline. He'll lob it out to Finstoon, catches on the left wing. Throws right side to Johnson. Johnson looking right, flips it right to Gomillion around a screen. Curls a pass into Johnson, drives baseline, spins on the block, throws it out to Hodge. Hodge penetrates the baseline, hooks a pass to Johnson, a catch and dunk. Great lob from Hodge, he'll get the assist. Johnson finishes his first two, six nothing Vikings. Spider adding to his conference lead and dunk. Indeed, shooting 65% from the field. That's a big reason why he takes a lot of high percentage shots, shall we say. <laughs> in the front court, Barron has the basketball. Milinkovic in the lane, left-handed shot. No, as Johnson made him change his shot. Cleveland State the rebound, up to Hodge, going to the rack the other way, lays it up and in with a nice crossover dribble. He beats Seth Myers to the hole. Hodge has six, eight nothing, Cleveland State. 15.07 to go, first half here. Wolstein Center, Cleveland, Ohio. On the right wing with it, Tommy DiRienzo. Throw it out top to Di Gregorio. He'll penetrate in the lane, kick it out sideline left to Milinkovic for three. It's short. Finch doing the Cleveland State board. We'll come left to right. Eight nothing Vikings, 14-50 first half. Finch doing, dribbles to the left of the key. Gonna go in the air, float it. Score off the window. Finstoon kind of hung in the air, and in his first start as a Viking, he has his first bucket. 10-0 all the way the other way for Barron's first basket. It's R.J. Marsh. So he took it to the rack and scored. First two for R.J. Marsh, 10-2, Cleveland State. 14-30 first half here in Cleveland as Parker sends it over to Johnson. I pose left. Out around the three-point arc. Johnson looking, looking, waiting, throwing. Sideline left, Parker. Dribbles around the screen to the lane. Stops. Throws it down low to a cutting Finstoon. He gets clobbered as he goes up for a shot by Tommy DiRienzo. Foul called on DiRienzo. First foul against Barron. And we have a full timeout on the floor. We'll take a break. With 14. Parker, Gomillion, and Finstoon on the floor for Penn State Barron. They are going to stay with Myers, Marsh, John Fukan, who has just checked in, six foot senior from Cranberry Township, PA. Also, Jacob Zeiss has checked in, six two senior from Buffalo. And Stefan Malinkovich also on the floor. Brock Finstoon to the line to our right. So, for you basketball aficionados out there, we have. Uh, our crack historian, um, Eddie Doherty, lo looking up to see if uh, this Gregorio kid has any relation to Ernie D. Gregorio, played for the Buffalo Braves back in the you old. You are dating yourself there, my friend. Just let you know. Fryer, talking about the Buffalo Braves. They Big haven't East. played basketball in, what, 50 years? Maybe 40 years? Uh, it's been a while. Early 70s. Uh, both free throws are missed by Finstoon, who coming into uh, that opportunity was at 64%. Now he's at 7 of 13 on the year. On the rebound, Trago Million is called for a foul. His first team second. Penn State Barron with the basketball. They're traveling blues with the gray and white trim. They work ahead. Seth Myers on the ball, takes it across the timeline. Hill pressuring as the Vikings crouch in that man-to-man. -man. Over on the left side with it, John Fukan. Near side it goes to Zeiss. Out top, Milinkovic. Hill to the right wing with nine on the shot clock. Handed off there to Fukan. 
Back on the right sideline, Malinkovic, five to shoot. He'll penetrate the lane, bounce pass down low to a cutter. Found him nicely, Marsh, but he couldn't convert. Missed the layup. Rebound Cleveland State. Gomillion in the front court to Parker on the right wing. Top side, Gomillion. And Anderson Marambo, his teammate, ran right into him and knocked him down, and the ball squirted out of bounds. It'll yeah, you're not going to stay barren basketball. You're not going to stay vertical when Anderson Marambo runs runs into your backside like that. <laughs> Ten that ain't going to happen. <laughs> 10 to Cleveland State. 13 35 to go in the first. Both teams now with four turnovers here in the early going. Yeah, Vikes, Vikes would need to play cleaner than this. Yeah, right. Not Run. to be too critical, but. I don't care who you're playing, you want to play well. Jacob Zeiss out top with the basketball on the dribble, heads to the left wing. We'll throw to the right point, Malinkovic hands the ball off to Myers, goes off his knee, tracks it down to the backcourt, it was deflected. He'll come ahead, five to shoot. Into the front court, crossover, Myers, try to leave it off, it's stolen. Trey Gomillion comes the other way. Gomillion's two on five, but he's going to the rack and missed the layup, tips it up and in though. Gomillion took on basically the entire Penn State Baron basketball team and scored. First two for Trey with a nice drive, 12-2. Cleveland State by 10, 12.50 first half clock. Myers out top, double team, sends a left wing to Fukan. Knocked away by Hill, reaching called on Yael Hill. That'll be his first personal foul. It's the third against Cleveland State. Comes to the 12.45 mark here of the first half. 12-2 Vikings. As Isaac D. Gregorio returns. Stephen Humphreys also in for the first time as Malinkovich and Myers check out. Des Moines Hodge comes back for CSU. And Trey Gomillion sits down with a couple of points for the Vikings. 12.45 left first half, 20 on the shot clock. 12-2 Vikings inbounding it near Hash. Is Zeiss. Throw it out to DiGregorio on the left wing. The pass will go to John Fucan out top to DiGregorio for three. It's short. Rebound tipped out to Brock Finstoon. Records his fifth board already. Vikings by 10, 12.30 on the first half clock. On corner left wing, it's Parker working against Zeiss. Gets a screen from Marambo. Kicks it out corner right. Finstoon catch and shoot triple up. Rim and off. Marambo the rebound. Marambo backing down his marker. A little turnaround shot with one hand. And couldn't get it. Barely got the rim. If he got the rim, and Penn State Baron has the basketball. De Gregorio now in the front court. 10 point lead for Cleveland State as we near the 12 minute mark here of the first half. Vikings go to a tandem 2 3 zone here. Hook a pass, sideline left, Zeiss from Di Gregorio. Three ball is up and long. Bounced a couple of times, came off though to Humphreys. Put it back up on the side of the iron, no good. Marambo, the Cleveland State rebound. Penn State Baron now just one of 13 from the field in the early going. Vikings are six of 12. Finstoon in the lane. Turn around, fade away from five, around the rim and out. Humphreys the rebound, 12-2, Cleveland State. 11-35, first half here at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. Lee Gregorio goes right corner with it to R.J. Marsh. Out to Humphreys, top side to Fukan for three. Backboard and rim off. Parker, the Viking board. Into the front court, Hill, sideline left. Hill, crossover. Crosses over again, drives baseline, under the rack, throws to Finstoon, cutting. Got pushed as he put it up. No, and a foul called on uh, Humphreys. So Finstoon will go back to the line and shoot two when we come back. That foul on Humphreys is first. So more about our light fixture ceiling fans and so much more by visiting luminancebrands.com slash go bikes Brock Finstoon to the free throw line to our right he's 0 for 2 from the line today he's joined by Hodge Parker Johnson and Hill on the floor first of two here is up and that is good for Brock who has now three points five rebounds and an assist 13 2 Vikings 11 16 on the first half clock Brock's gonna be really important for the Vikings this year as the season goes forward He's versatile, he can shoot, he's athletic. Knocks down the second one, so he'll check out with four points. Jason Woodrich will replace him. First time we've seen Jason today. Six, seven sophomore from Beachwood. 14 to two, the score. Into the front court on the dribble. Myers sends it over on the left wing. Zeiss, throw a corner left. To Fukan, a pump fake, get it back out to Zeiss for three, and he got it. First triple for Penn State Baron. They were 0 for 7 behind the arc, and just 1 of 13 from the field before that shot. 
He knocks it down. Zeiss has his first basket off the bench. 14-5 CSU. That was a nice looking jump shoot shot by Zeiss there. Quick and high elevation off the floor. Cleveland stayed with the ball. Now Hill will penetrate into the lane from the right side. Stop. Throw it out to Hodge. Right wing behind the arc against the Penn State Baron man to man. Over to Johnson. High post right. Eight to shoot. Flips it to Woodridge. Going to the lane. One hand. A push shot is good from about five. Jason Woodridge is first two. 16-5 bikes. You talked about that push shot. Pat, you like what you've seen out of Woodridge with that shot this year? Yeah, I mean, he almost never put the ball on the floor last year. He's really worked on his game to add that to his arsenal. Isaac D. Gregorio in the front court as it poked away by Hodge out of bounds. It'll be Lion basketball right inside the hash on the far sideline in front of the Cleveland State bench. Vikings by 11, 10 15 on the first half clock as D. Gregorio dribbles over here on the near left wing. Bounce pass corner left, goes to Fukan. Now to De Gregorio. Takes it out to the right point. Left side to Zeiss. Corner left. Fukan drives baseline. Passes. Corner right to De Rienzo. And he traveled as he penetrated. Traveling violation on Tommy De Rienzo. And that's the sixth turnover for Penn State Baron. Cleveland State's committed five turnovers today. 9.39 on the first half clock. 16 to 5. Cleveland State by 11. They've never trailed. Parker in the front court running the point against the man to man. He'll go high post left to Hodge. Back over to Parker, left wing, topside Woodridge off a of screen, dribbles to the right point. Picked up on the switch by D. Rienzo. Go out top to Johnson, dribbles to the left wing, hands off there Parker. Parker went down, but got a one handed pass over to Hill. Gonna launch the three from 25. It's long, and the rebound's collected by D. Gregorio. We'll come right to left with an 11 point advantage for Penn State Barron. 9.28 on the first half clock. Spin and go to the top. Head to the right wing. Picked up by Woodridge on the Cleveland State switch as they work in a man to man. Now the penetration under the basket. Throws it out to Zeiss. Bluffs the catch and shoot three. Dribbles in. Spins in the lane. Kick out right wing to D. Rienzo. Out top, Fukan, eight on the shot clock as he dribbles right of the key. One-handed shot from 13, glass and nothing else. Woodridge, the Cleveland State rebound. Long ball ahead to Hodge in the front court. Back to Woodridge, the trailer, right wing triple and rhythm at the front of the rim, no good. Johnson kept the rebound alive, but Fukan collects for Penn State Barron. Head of the front court now to Zeiss, 16-5, Cleveland State. 8.53, first half. Get it over on the right wing, DiRienzo. Rienzo to D. Gregorio, out right of the center circle. Now left wing pass to Humphreys behind the arc. Picks up the dribble, knocked away by Johnson. Humphreys gets it back. Ten on the shot clock, gives to Zeiss. Zeiss splits a double team. And the foul is called on Des Moines Hodge for a bump. First foul on Hodge. Fourth against Cleveland State at the 8.39 mark of the first half. 16-5 Vikings. Gomillion in, Parker out for Cleveland State. For Penn State Baron, Marsh returns. Fukan checks out. Inbounds coming for Jacob Zeiss from the near sideline. He'll throw it in to De Gregorio on the left wing. Around the screen, he heads to the right wing. Pass left wing, Zeiss catch and shoot triple over Woodridge. All oh, that swish. Zeiss with six to lead Penn State Baron off the bench. 16 8 Vikings lead down to eight. Kid's got some range. Certainly does. Those are deep, deep threes. Johnson on the right wing for the Vikings. Johnson dribbles out top, flips to Hill. Hill, the Cleveland Heights product, dribbles into the lane. Goes to the right block, one handed shot as he gets a shove, and down he goes. No good on the shot, but drew the foul against Humphreys. His third, or rather his second, third against Penn State Barron here in the first half. That'll set Hill to the line to our right. 16-8 Vikings, 8-12 on the first half clock. Hill this season, three of four at the charity line. I want to mention Dave Nyland, the head coach at Barron. He's 27 years he's been at, at Barron. He's considered one of the best coaches in Division Three basketball. He's had a very successful program for many, many years. You went against him when you were at Lake Erie College as Hill converts the first free throw to make it 17 to 8. He really had, you know, anytime somebody's at a place for 27 years, it's because they're, they're very good at what they do. And he is really a class act, too. Yeah, Dave Nyland, very well-respected college basketball coach. One more free throw for Hill as Humphreys checks out. And Plisnick comes in to replace him. Hill converts the second free throw as well. So he's got two points, and it's 18-8. to eight. Cleveland State by 10 as we approach the eight-minute mark here of the first half. Into the front court, it's D. Gregorio. Bounce pass 
Top of the key to Flisnick, sends it over on the left wing to Marsh. Now Zeiss will penetrate, trying to pass it in, stolen by Hodge. Long ball ahead, Woodridge going one-on-one -on -one to the rack the other way. Got there, doesn't score, but drew the foul. He'll shoot two as the ball went around the rim and popped out. Good effort by Woodridge. R.J. Marsh is the guilty party on the foul. His first team's fourth. And Jason Woodridge will have a couple of free throws when we return. Another full timeout on the in downtown the edge on euclid official off-campus housing partner of cleveland state visit csuvikings.com for more information so the vikings are up by 10. turnovers have been a story though seven for baron five for cleveland state it's uh they've diminished which is a good news in the last few minutes though Pat. yeah the Vikings are getting out to their running game a little bit their defense is picking up and uh this kid has really come a long way It'd be really interested to watch Woodridge's development in the next couple of years. Yep, Jason at the free throw line on the season after he made that first one. Now three of four at the stripe. He's got three points as Hill checks out. Chris Green is in. So is Hodge. Parker and Gomillion for Cleveland State. Woodridge sinks the next one. All net. It's 20 to 8 Vikings against Barron in the first ever meeting between these two schools. Great to have you along here today on ESPN Plus and the iHeartRadio app. Isaac D. Gregorio in the front court. He'll set it over on the left wing to Owen Flisnick. Now R.J. Marsh with it on penetration to the left block. Cut off by Hodge. Bounce passes it out to Flisnick. Vikings in a man-to-man. -man. Out top Zeiss. He's made a couple of three-pointers today. He'll end the ball off to R.J. Marsh, who takes it to the right elbow. Goes sideline right to D. Rianzo. As the shot clock's winded down, it's at four. D. Rianzo will lift the three from the right wing. Off the side iron, no good. Hodge tracks down the rebound for CSU. Into the front court, Gomillion. Barrett is back. Gomillion stops at the top of the key. Sends it over to Chris Green on the left wing. Turn, spin move, goes to the rack, missed the layup, but the rebound's collected by Woodrich, who knifed in for it. Out to Hodge as the Vikings work the perimeter on the passing. Sideline right, Parker into Green, right elbow. Green takes a step, calls for Parker, gives it to him on the right sideline, eight to shoot. Go to the free throw line, bounce pass, Hodge wide open underneath. He lays it in with the reverse, eight for Hodge, great find by Parker. 22-8 Cleveland State, 6.48 to go in the half. Marsh to the left block. Nice pass to a cutter himself as Flisnick grabs it and lays it in. And Flisnick has his first two, 22-10 Vikings. Both teams showing the stellar backdoor cuts and passes. Woodridge to Green. High post left. Chris Green hands the ball off to Parker. Down the lane he goes. Got to the rack. Missed the bunny though. Rebound though. Green back up and in. Chris Green is first two, 24-10. Cleveland State, 6.20 to go, first half. De Gregorio will bring it ahead against Parker and cross the timeline in the middle of the floor. A second is spare. That's to the left wing. Back out to the top. Sideline left pass to Marsh. Curls a pass into Flisnick, and he puts it up and in over Woodridge. A couple of quick baskets by Owen Flisnick, the 6'7 sophomore from Pittsburgh, New York. He's got four, 24-12, Cleveland State. Barron looks like they're getting a little more comfortable running their offensive sets. They missed their first seven field goal attempts. They were one for 13, but now five of 19 as Cleveland State runs a nice play, and Parker converts on a layup as he gets to the right side and lays it in off the window. Sean Parker with his first two, 26-12. CSU once again matches their largest lead of 14. 5.33 to go in the first half. De Gregorio on the left wing, poked away from behind, but a loose ball. Comes to Zeiss on the right wing, out 30. We'll go to work on a Hodge, throw it top of the key to Plisnik. Sideline right to De Gregorio. Corner right to Marsh, bluffs the three, drives baseline, throws a corner left Zeiss, catch and shoot triple, missed that one. Woodridge goes up, slams the rebound to the ground and picks it up himself. Goes to Gomillion, up ahead Parker. Bikes by 14 in the lane to Green. Takes it outside the lane now in the right elbow area. Dribbles the left side. Nice backdoor cut by Woodridge. Green with a no-look bounce pass, and Woodridge lays it in. He's got six. Nifty assist from Chris Green. 28-12, Cleveland State. 4.56 to go, first half. Front court right wing, D. Gregorio sends it left wing. Marsh out to Flisnick. Over to D. Gregorio. Heads to the left, back to the right on the spin. Comes back to the left, back to the right now. Stops at the top. Sends it left wing. Marsh. Eight on the shot clock as he puts it on the hardwood behind the back dribble, penetrates, put it up, blocked by Chris Green. Came to Flisnick, two on the shot clock and a turn and scoop it up and in. Flisnick with six all in the last two minutes. And it's 28-14 CSU, 4.28 to go in the half. All right in that painted area too. 
starting to feel comfortable. Chris Green's got to step it up on him a little bit. Gomillion backdoor cut Parker, catches underneath, double teamed. Forced it up, good, and he's fouled. Boy, that was a tough shot. Zeiss got him on the arm. Parker just powered it up and scored. He has four. He'll look for five at the line. Foul on Zeiss is his first. Fifth against Barron, 4.13 to go in the half. Vikes are up 30 to 14. Their largest lead as Woodridge checks out. And Nate Jack, the 6'5 senior in Florida State transfer, checks in. The more I see of Deshaun Parker, I, I really liked. The more I like, he uh, he's a heady player, doesn't make mistakes, gets the team into their offensive uh, sets, and uh, plays really good defense. So he's uh, he's a nice nice fill in. As we, of course we lost Craig Bodwan a couple weeks ago. Parker free throw no good that was just his second free throw attempt of the season he's one for two now overall Vikings up by 16 Penn State Bear with the basketball Seth Myers into the front court gets it over to DiRienzo now on top to Zeiss guarded by Parker sideline right Myers puts it on the hardwood marked by Hodge it's a screen from Malinkovich comes to the left point now will penetrate down the lane gonna scoop it up blocked from behind by Hodge out of bounds we bear in basketball when we return with three minutes and 49 seconds remaining before halftime full time out on the floor our Jerkak is directing things for us today on ESPN Plus. We appreciate his efforts and the crew here today. 30 to 14, Cleveland State with 3.49 to go in the first half. Penn State Barron will have the basketball with six on the shot clock. They'll break the huddle with Myers, Belinkovich, Marsh, DiRienzo, and Zeiss. Cleveland State with Gomillion, Jack Parker, Johnson, and Hodge. The boundaries, Myers. He'll go right side to Milinkovich. Throw it out to Myers, right wing, two on the shot clock. Penetrates in. Kick it out to Milinkovich. Never got the shot off as he went up. And the shot clock buzzer sounded. And the second time today, Penn State Barron is guilty of a shot clock violation. That's their eighth turnover. 3.42 to go first half. Cleveland State 30. Penn State Barron 14. That's their largest lead. Brock Finstoon in. He'll inbound. So he joins Parker, Hodge, Johnson, and Jack on the floor for CSU. Parker passes to Johnson. High post left, hands to Parker, goes corner left to Hodge. Out to Johnson, left wing, dribbles to the right wing, flips to Finstoon, comes around a screen, bounce to Hodge, backdoor cut into the basket. Nice lead for Johnson, went up for the dunk, and he's fouled by Tommy DiRienzo, who challenged him. It was the only chance that DiRienzo had, or Johnson was about to let a thunderous dunk go down. Good pass by Hodge there. Really nice pass, a spider attempting to add to his unofficial dunk lead in the conference. Of course, I know you keep track of all those dunks. First free throw by Johnson <laughs> is good. He has the best dunks, really, I think I've seen in many Almost years. as good as you used to have back State. in the 80s. I had one dunk, and it was a good one, but <laughs> I had one dunk. <laughs> you still talk about it to this I day? I do. I, you know, I, Johnson makes both free throws. He's now shooting 60% from the line this season. He started the year two for nine from the line. So those two points give Cleveland State a 32 to 14 lead with 3.20 to go in the half. Myers in the front court left wing against the Vikings man to man. Pass it sideline left to Marsh, he'll throw it out top. Myers back to Marsh, left wing. He'll go corner left, Zeiss got open for the three and he nails it. Third three pointer today for Jacob Zeiss. He's got nine to lead all scorers. But the Vikings are ahead 32-17 with three minutes left in the half. I'll tell you, Zeiss has one of the prettiest jump shots we've seen at any level all quick, year. Quick release, too, Pat. Yeah. He gets that ball out quickly. He elevates, too. He gets up. Hodge on the left wing. Down low Parker turns. Drop step to the hole. He lays it in. To Sean Parker, the point guard. Showing you a low post move there. Looked pretty good. He's got six, and the ball stolen by Hodge. He's flying ahead. Hodge to the rack. Lays it in. Won't count. They'll call him for an <laughs> offensive foul as Myers was tracking with him and <laughs> Hodge gave him a little bump to get him out of the way so 34 17 bites Hodge was playing a little bully ball right there he, he knew that the defender was coming down in front of him. he's like I'll, you know I just I'm just gonna shed you <laughs> he did shed him however he's guilty of his second caught. personal yeah, foul yeah. fifth foul against Cleveland State 238 to go in the half 34 17 CSU lead Penn State Barron. And it is a common foul. Zeiss will inbound in the backcourt. He 
gets the ball back from the, and he threw it into Milinkovic. Now he'll take it to mid floor and hand it off there to Seth Myers, who steers it to the right wing. Flips it over there to Di Rienzo. Over on the left wing it goes. Milinkovic, now on the left wing, Marsh against Jack. Over to Milinkovic, dribbles to the right sideline, now baseline, flips it to Myers, 10 to shoot. Pass it left wing, Marsh, back over on the right wing, Myers, five to shoot. Goes corner right to Milinkovic. Throws it at the right elbow to DiRienzo. Shoots a fadeaway as the shot clock expires, but Hodge got the ball before it did. It's an air ball. Throws it to Jack into the front court. Right wing triple try is short off the front iron, and Myers has the board. 34-17, Cleveland State. A minute 55 to go in the half. In the front court, Myers tried to send it in. Ball deflected to the back court. Myers tracks it down. Gets it up ahead, right sideline. DiRienzo stolen away by Hodge again. Boy, Hodge getting a number of steals today already. Up at Finstoon, drives baseline. Down low to Johnson, one-handed pass out to Hodge. Left wing triple, long. And the rebound's collected by Penn State Baron Stefan Malinkovic. And the ball off down. R.J. Marsh will come right to left with a minute 28 to go in the half. Vikings in the lead, 34-17 over Barron. Now DiRienzo, now top it goes, Malinkovic. Sideline to right, Myers versus Hodge in the man-to-man. Myers puts it on the hardwood. On the right wing, dribbling. Sends it sideline right, Zeiss. Seven on the shot clock. Out of the right wing, Milinkovic. Pass left wing to DiRienzo. He'll go corner left to Myers for three. No, but he drew a foul on Hodge, who challenged him. Third foul on Hodge. And the sixth against Cleveland State here in this first half with a minute six seconds to go in it. 34-17 Vikings. Well, Demoy Hodge is playing very hard, but you know, you have to be smart. No reason to foul a guy like that in the corner. You got a, you got a length advantage. Just contest the shot and take the chance that he won't make it. Seth Myers, four of eight from the free throw line this season, misses the first one. He'll have two more though. Myers today scoreless, but has a couple of rebounds. Second of three is up. No good off the glass and left side of the iron. 34-17 Cleveland State. One more coming for Seth Myers, who came into today. Got the start. Averaging three points and a rebound. 5'11 junior from Erie, PA. Went to General McLean High School. Next one is up and in. So he gets one out of three. Myers will sit down with the point. Replacing him is Isaac D. Gregorio. For Cleveland State, Hill checked in for Hodge. A minute six to go in the half. 34-18 Cleveland State. So unofficially, uh, it tells me that uh, Isaac D. Gregorio is not related to Ernie D. Gregorio, the former Buffalo Brave. Third round pick in the 1973 NBA draft. Very good. Look at you with the history lesson. Here's Finstoon into the lane. Pumps. Bounce pass down low. Johnson. One handed shot. No good. Off the window. Had a tough angle on the baseline near the block. Well, the rebound's collected by Barry. Middle of the front court. Seth Myers sends it over to Isaac D. Gregorio. It's around a screen to the top. Hill, his marker, stays with him. Throw back on the left side to the screen center. Milinkovic behind the arc, dribbles to the top, picks the dribble up, goes back on the left sideline with the pass to Di Gregorio. Down low to Milinkovic, forced it up in a crowd, no good. Johnson, the Viking board. 25 seconds to go in the half. Shot clock dark. Cleveland State can play for the final shot. They lead it 34-18 here at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. Parker on the left wing, dribbling out some time just in front of the timeline. He's guarded by Marsh, who's right about him. Nine seconds. Bounce it high post left to Finstoon. Back to Parker. Sideline left. Five seconds. Out top Jack. Catch and shoot triple. Side iron. No. Finstoon the rebound. Tipped it up. No. Tip Johnson though, but he was fouled on the rebound. Yep. Stefan Malinkovic was holding Johnson as he went up at the horn. And that'll be a foul on Malinkovic. His second personal foul. The seventh against Penn State Barron. So that'll put Johnson to the line to shoot two. Johnson two of two at the stripe. He has four points and two rebounds. Good opportunity and for Spider to work on his free throw form. And they'll have to check to see how much time to put on the clock. Point oh one. Oh, it's a one and one. The foul was on the rebound. So it's a one and one. Right now they've got point one second on the clock. DiRienzo is out. Flisnick returns. Now Hill heads over to, to talk to Dennis Gates. And are they going to take a look, perhaps? Right now, they've got one-tenth of a second. Or now they put one second, one full second on the clock. So one second now instead of one-tenth of a second. Well, that'll make a world of difference. Either way, uh, this is going to be it for the scoring here with Johnson. 
One and one, first one up and in. Right, Spider. Spider now three of three at the line today. He's got five nice. points, two boards, 35-18 Cleveland State, a second to go in the half. So here's some value as to why you play this game. You get your, your big, big man more reps from the free throw line. Second one is no good. Stefan Malinkovic the rebound, and that's the end. De Gregorio, Marsh, and De Rienzo for Cleveland State. Parker, Johnson, Hodge, Gomillion, Finster. Penn State Barron starts the second half with the ball, working to the basket to our right. With it is Isaac D. Gregorio. Sends it over on the left wing to Zeiss. Now up top, Plisnik heads to the right wing. Gives it off there to Marsh. Sideline right. Here's De Rienzo for three. It's long. Spider Johnson, the Cleveland State board. Up at Finstoon, Vikes by 17, just underway here in the second half in Cleveland. Gomillion takes it out top against the man to man. Sent it sideline left to Hodge, out to Gomillion now between the circles. Over the far side, Parker, high post right Johnson. Will dribble to the left elbow. Sent it sideline left to Hodge for three. Swish! Cleveland State's first triple today. Their largest lead, 38 to 18, nearly a minute into the second half. It'd be great to see the Vikes get off to a nice, you know, nice long run here at the start of the second half. Let's stick with it on the right wing. Ball poked away. Parker's got it. Then loose at mid floor. It's going to be picked up by DiRienzo. Takes it to the front court, but now five on the shot clock. Out of the left sideline, he'll give it to DiGregorio, who tries the long three, no, but knifing in for the rebound is DiRienzo. Turnaround shot deflected by Johnson, grabbed by Hodge. Bikes come ahead, leaders by 20. 18-37 first half, Hodge tries the triple, missed it wide right. Johnson comes in for the Cleveland State board. Out to go million, Vikings can reset. Spider Johnson with that rebound has four now. There's go million on the dribble with 10 to shoot, takes it to the free throw line. Gives it to Johnson, sideline right, Finn's doing on the drive, lob, Johnson, catch, dunk! Second dunk for Johnson, he's got seven, 40 to 18, Cleveland State. Continuing to add to that dunk total. 
to the front court, Di Gregorio versus Parker. Vikings crouch in that man-to-man. -man. Di Gregorio right of the center circle, steers it to the left wing, tosses it over there, sideline left, Di Gregorio on the right side. Di Rienzo will go corner right to R.J. Marshall, try the long triple, it's short. Rebound, Gomillion taps it over to Finstoon as everybody's scattered, but Gomillion was able to get it to Brock. And back to Gomillion to Hodge, out top Parker. The dribble drive, stops just to the left of the key. Throws it sideline right to Hodge, into Johnson, right wing. Turns, spins in the lane, pass out, corner left Parker. Passes up the jumper, instead dribbles in the lane. Takes it to the right of the lane, throws it to Johnson down low, gonna force it up, no, but he drew the foul. And Flisnick got him on the arm. First foul of the second half against either side. It's on Owen Flisnick, his first personal at the 17-26 mark. 40 to 18, Cleveland State. This is the type of efficiency that I think Coach Gates had hoped for out of the gate today. Uh, it's good to see that they're, they've definitely woken up. Whatever he talked about, they listened. Johnson at the line to the left, sinks the first one. He's five of five at the free throw line. I'm sorry, four of five at the free throw line. Eight points for Johnson. That's still really good. Four or five for your big man. Well, the last two years, he shot right around 55% from the line, and this year he started off two yep. for nine, but he's been much more efficient of late. Yeah, he's confident there, and that's, that's going to be really important for the Vikings in those close uh, conference games. Hill in, Hodge out as Johnson makes his next free throw. He has nine. It's 42-18, Cleveland State. 17-20. That's what's left here in Cleveland in this second half. Cleveland State, Penn State Baron. Zeiss out top. He'll go left wing to Nick Felix, who just checked in. On the right side it goes. Myers bluffs the three. Toronto screen to the left. Throws a corner left to DiRienzo. He'll penetrate baseline. Got to the rack. Lays oh. it up and in. Nice drive by Tommy that DiRienzo. Was really nice. <laughs> was indeed his first bucket. 42-20. Hill the other way to go. Million corner right. Triple is off the back iron. No rebound tipped out to Zeiss. His first board for Penn State Barrett. He's got nine off the bench to lead the Lions. Go to the front court, he'll send it to DeGregorio. It penetrates, no look. Down low to Flisnick. Makes the catch, little hook reverse is good for Flisnick. He's got eight. 42-22 CSU, 16-35 left. Um, I, told, I told you, Dave Nyland is a really good coach. His, his kids execute very well. and they're, they're playing without their leading scorer, a kid that averages 23 a game for him today. So. He's learning a lot about his guys today, too. The right side. Three-pointer is missed, and Zeiss comes ahead for Penn State Baron. 20-point lead for Cleveland State. Flisnick gets it down the lane, went to the basket. No, but drew the foul on Brock Finstoon. Brock picks up his second personal foul. It's the first against Cleveland State here in the second half. And with 16-13 left in regulation and a 42-22 Cleveland State lead, Owen Flisnick. Shoot from the line to the right. Flisnick today. Eight points. Four or five from the field. These will be his first free throw attempts, and he misses the first one off the back iron. No good. Penn State Barron now just uh, one of four from the free throw line today. Cleveland State 11 of 15. Myers back. D. Gregorio out for Barron. Second free throw by Flitznick is good. All net. Splits the pair. He's got nine. 42-23, Cleveland State, 16.08 to go. Head of the front court, Parker. Guarded by Myers in the Penn State Baron man-to-man. Sent it over to Johnson, left wing. Bounce to Finstoon, cutting, gonna throw it up on the rim. No, he almost had a great shot, he was fouled. It's no good, as he was going down. And then DiRienzo made sure he stayed down. He picks up the foul, his second. Second against Barron here in the second half. And when we come back, prides itself on offering generational quality and comfort for over 50 years. Headquartered in Northeast Ohio, start planning your next project. Visit luminancebrands.com slash go vice. Cleveland State up 42-23. Brock Finstoon at the free throw line to our left. He's got Gomillion, Hill, Parker, and Johnson on the floor with him. Brock today two of four at the strike. Misses the first of two here. He'll remain with four points. Six rebounds, then an assist for Brock Finstoon. Kind of hitching a shot at the top of it. He's Losing his legs, he's kind of a little bit of a hesitation as he's bringing it through his face. Let's see if he straightens that out. That was better. 
And that one rolls in, shooter's yep. touch. Five for Finstoon. Penn State Barron on the floor. They have DiRienzo, Flisnick, Zeiss, Myers, and Felix. Zeiss will come ahead left to right. 43-23, CSU. Front court Zeiss against Parker. The Vikings crowd to that man-to-man. -man. Give it out to Flisnick out about 27 straight away. Dribbles to the right. Flips it over on the right side to DiRienzo on the wing. DiRienzo dribbles to the left wing. Down low to Flisnick and a scoop it up and in around Gomillion. 11 for Flisnick to lead Penn State Barron. 43-25. Cleveland State's lead at 18. 15-30 left. Young man is feeling confident. Parker in the front court, steers it to the left wing, flips to Finstoon, gonna lop for Johnson a little too high. Goes over his head and it's collected by Seth Myers of Penn State Barron. A couple left to right, but the Vikings are back defensively. Myers to the right wing, he'll flip it sideline right to DiRienzo. Top to Fliznik, left wing it goes Felix against Finstoon. Felix makes a dribble, bounce out top, Fliznik. Dribbles to the right wing, backdoor cut, Myers stolen. The entry pass was taken away by Deshaun Parker. Into the front court, go million left wing. Dribbles into the lane and to the right wing. Flips it sideline right to Hill. Hill spins, Hill drives, Hill puts the left hand and layup up and in. Nice move by Hill, went to his off left hand and scored. He has four off the bench, that's his first field goal. It's 45-25 CSU. 14.40 to play. There's Myers on a cut, receives the pass, kicks it out to Zeiss, right wing. Triple try, swish! Jacob Zeiss, his fourth three-pointer. He has a dozen to lead Barron. 45-28 Cleveland State, 14-25 to go. That young man has perfect form on his shot. The way it comes through his face, his foul through. Surprising he's not a starter on this team. Finstoon out top. Finstoon takes it to the free throw line, throws to Johnson, left elbow. Flips it sideline left to Parker, penetrates to the left elbow, bounces it down low, Johnson, turn, drop step, forced it up. Blocked from behind by DiRienzo. Loose ball out of bounds, off Johnson. It'll be Barron basketball as Woodrich returns for Cleveland State. He'll replace, let's see here, He'll replace Parker. Penn State Barron, Malinkovic comes in. And for Cleveland State, Finstoon checks out for Hodge. 45-28, Cleveland State 14-03 to go. Some toughness on that low post defense there. Yeah. Like that's guy twice his size, he held his ground. Into the front court, he'll go to Milinkovic. Left wing, Felix out about 27. Puts it on the hardwood, takes it out top, goes sideline right, Myers penetrates, got to the rack, blocked from behind by Spider Johnson. Long ball ahead for Hodge. Hodge flying down the lane, cut off, and they're gonna call a charge. Des Moines Hodge for running over Jacob Zeiss. That is the fourth foul on Des Moines. With 13.41 to go, Vikings up 45-28. Des Moines plays so hard such, with such aggressiveness. Sometimes he picks up those fouls. I think it's the second time he's charged tonight, I think. It is, second charge on Hodge. So he, he'll stay on the floor with four fouls. Bet teams like uh, Northern Kentucky are picking up on that, and that's gonna be part of their scouting report. Myers will go left sideline to Felix. He'll go corner left. Myers, out of left wing, Milinkovic takes it to the right wing, picks the dribble up on the arc, sends it sideline right to Felix. Now left wing, Myers bluffs the three in the lane. Out to Felix, five on the shot clock, double team, stolen away, Hill. Cleveland State will come ahead, 17 point leaders, up to go million. Corner right, Hodge, back out, go million, right wing. Waves through Hill and says, let's set up our offense against this man to man. Go high plus left to Johnson, flip to Gomillion, go to the rack, put it up and in. Good strong move of the hole by Trey Gomillion. He has four, 47-28 CSU in the backcourt. Hill pressuring Myers out of bounds, off Myers. Cleveland State ball, excellent man-to-man, -man full court work by Yael Hill. Love to see Yael pressure the ball that way. He's gonna have to be another guy we're gonna have to get big contributions from to win this conference again this year. Off the bench, he can score, he can defend, he can handle. I think as the year goes on, he's gonna get more and more playing time. Got a backdoor cut, Johnson fed him, he'll dribble out to the free throw line, pump fake and shoot a 14 footer on the rim and rolls in. Shooter's touch for Hill, he has six. 49-28, Cleveland State, quickly into the front court, Felix stops on the left wing, throws it to right wing, Myers, a catch and shoot is on the way for three, it's off the iron, no good. Hill the Viking board, up ahead Woodridge into the front court. Woodridge back out top Hill, sends it to right wing, Gomillion. 
Pavilion behind the arc, around the screen, bounce to Johnson, great pick and roll, Johnson the hole, scores the layup and foul! Boy, go Million and Johnson, textbook pick and roll, 51-28 Vikings. Johnson with that bucket has nine to look for 10 at the free throw line. And I really like the fact that Spider finished using the backboard. It's great to get all those dunks, the fans love them. They're easy points, but it, you know, as you play against bigger, stronger opponents, you have to learn to get your body into the defender and use the backboard to score in tight spaces. Spider Johnson, five of six at the strife, puts the free throw up on the rim. That one fell off. And the rebound is collected by Seth Myers. Over to Di Gregorio. He'll come left to right. Besides those two, Malinkovic, Marsh, and Fukan on the floor. Get it to Marsh corner right. He'll try the triple. The high arcing shot is good for R.J. Marsh. He has five. 51-31 Cleveland State. 12 minutes left. Hill in the front court running the point against the man to man. He'll go high post left to Trey Gomillion. Trey can play one through five on the floor. Out to Jack off a screen. Three-pointer right there. Nate Jack, the sharpshooter from Florida State transfer. He's got three. First bucket off the bench. 54-31 Cleveland State. 11.40 left. Into the front court right wing. De Gregorio going to throw up a tough shot from the right of the lane. No good. Pavilion the Viking rebound. Up ahead to Hill. Hill in the front court. Corner left. Woodridge open. 4-3. In and out. Rebound. Johnson tracks it down to Jack. Sideline right. Fakes the three. Gets it out to Hill. And now we've got a whistle. And... Have to reset the shot clock. So while they do, we'll take a full timeout. Before we do, Pat, a comment. No, I was just, I'd really like to see the bikes go back to, to Nathaniel Jack on the next possession. Well. State basketball, 17 to shoot. They work to the basket to our left. They lead 54-31. Hill inbound. He's got Jack Johnson, Vermillion and Woodrich on the floor. Jack has it on the right wing. Pull the trigger on the triple. Short rebound. Woodrich going to force it back up and in. Against R.J. Marsh, he powered it up and in. Jason Woodrich with eight. 56-31. Cleveland State, their largest lead. Down the backcourt, stolen away. Daniel Jack's got it for Cleveland State. Up in the front court, Gomillion, cross court, Jack, catch and shoot, triple up, short. Rebound knocked out by Woodridge, and it's going to be tracked down by Hill for CSU in mid-floor. Well, they're trying to get Jack into it. Vikings up by 25, 10.48 to go. Spider Johnson out top, backdoor cut Jack. And pretty good defense there by Myers, deflected it away, then stolen by John Fuka. Into the front court, Milanovic. Linkovic looking. Looking and deflected balls. He tried to throw it in. Go million knocked it out of bounds. It'll be Penn State Baron basketball. Jacob Zeiss, their leading scorer today, with 12 points returns. And here comes Brock Finstoon for the Vikings. Takes over for Trey Gomillion. 10.36 left, 56-31 Vikings. Mabor Majak in for the first time for CSU. Seven foot two sophomore from South Sudan is in. He'll take Spider Johnson's spot on the floor. Spider sits down with nine points, six rebounds, three assists. Jacob D. Gregorio for Barron on the left wing around the screen. Goes to the top, throws it left wing. Fukan. D. Gregorio head fakes on the three, goes corner left. For Malinkovic, his three-pointer is long. And Jack will let it go out of bounds. Cleveland State will take over. Vikings up 56-31 with 10-20 to go here in the second half. So the Vikes have gotten Jack two shots since that timeout. He's missed both. I think they still have to keep going to him and get him in a rhythm somehow. Hill in the front court running the point here. Steers it to the left wing around him a Jacques pick. 
Dribbling the basketball against D. Gregorio and the Penn State Baron man-to-man. -man. Gets a screen from Finstu. Takes it out to the left point area. Now a screen from Jacques. He'll shoot it from 25. It's bottom of the cup. Boy, Yaya Lil just kept waiting for that opening. It appeared he's got nine. 59-31 Cleveland State. Front court is D. Gregorio. Bluffs the open three. Instead dribbles in. Passes out to Zeiss. He's covered on the near corner. He tried to dribble in. Lost the handle on the ball. Deflected away and out of bounds. Off Zeiss. It'll be Cleveland State ball with 9.45 to go. 59-31 CSU. And Yahel Hill, we saw him last year in the conference tournament, gave us some really good minutes from the point guard position. So this is good to see him getting some reps there too. No goes out top of Woodridge. Bounce pass down low, Majak. Goes baseline, forced it up. No, drew the foul as he went to the other side of the basket. Good work by Labor Majak. The big left-hander will shoot a couple at the line to our left. That foul is on John Fukan, his first, team's fourth with 9.29 left, and the Vikings in the lead, 59-31. The Jacques this season from the line as he attempts his first one, no good. It bounced the back iron and bounced out. That's his first free throw this year. Last year made a couple of free throws in the NCAA tournament game against Houston. Yep. One more for the southpaw. Puts it up and in. All net. Jock splits the pair. First point today, 60-31. Cleveland State by 29. 9.24 left. Into the front court. Isaac D. Gregorio. That's the right wing to Marsh. He'll throw it to John Fukan off the screen. Heads to the left wing. Jack will pick him up on the switch. Fukan on the dribble. Fukan continues to pound the hardwood. Penetrates now. Throws it out on the left wing to Milinkovic. Nine on the shot clock. Takes it to the right point area. Throws the corner left to Zeiss. Never got there. Leaping steal by Woodridge. Into the front court. He comes on the dribble. Woodridge goes in the air. Goes down low to Finstu. And it got to him off a deflection. Reverse. No good. Rebound taken by Fukai. Who came ahead behind the back dribble. Lost the handle. Picked it up on the left wing. Quarter left Zeiss. Three ball in the air. Swish. Zeiss continues the hot shooting. He's five of seven from the field. All three-point attempts. He has 15 to lead all scorers. <laughs> but it's 60-34, Cleveland State. How about Jacob Zeiss? What an effort today off the bench for the senior from Buffalo. Out top, Woodrich for three. Swish! Woodrich an answer. He's got 11 off the Cleveland State bench. 63-34. 8.25 left here in Cleveland. Right back at you with the three from Woodrich. Here's Zeiss out top from 26. Swish on the heat check. He is hot. <laughs> Number six for Zeiss. He's got 18. Well, he's put that, he's getting a round of hey. applause from the Cleveland faithful here for his shooting today. 63-37. How about getting this kid a grad transfer chest scholarship at the end of the year? Well, he's knocking him down wow. here at the Wolstein. Finstoon says, how about me? Yes, Finstoon a triple. Four straight three-pointers, two for Zeiss, two for Cleveland State, 66-37. 7.45 to go as the hot shooting continues. They're looking for Zeiss. Here he is out top. Finstoon on him, so he'll drive instead. Going to the rack, put it up, blocked. Hard from behind by Finstoon as Zeiss goes down. <laughs> It'll be a full timeout on the floor. That was his first two-point field goal attempt of the afternoon. We've got a full time. Systems major at Penn State Baron. And accounting, I believe. Yeah, as accounting major and information okay. systems technology okay. minor, so pretty smart kid. Now, this would be very a, nice. A pretty good memory. shot to go with the, to <laughs> yeah. go with that GPA. That's too. right. He's, he's having a I'm nice day. I'm sure too. he's adding up his totals right now in his head. <laughs> well, he's had the hot hand for Penn State Baron. I'm Vikings sure he can tell you exactly how many he's got right now. Being the accounting major. D. Gregory with the ball gets it out top for a three pointer. That's an air ball from Stephen Humphreys. Out of bounds it goes. It'll be Cleveland State ball. 7.25 to go, 66 37. Cleveland State here today at the Wolstein Center. Vikings looking to win their fourth straight. First time ever they've taken on Penn State Barron. Over the front court Hill. Crossover and steer it to the left wing. Looking down low for Majak. Got it to him outside the block. On the wing, out about 12. Backs into the paint. Gonna turn, force it up. No, as he's getting a bump from Humphreys, who was holding him. Foul on Humphreys. And for Humphreys, that's his third personal foul. Fifth foul against the Lions here in the second half. Well, Majak, all that size, the next uh, step in his progression is going to be develop that core strength and balance and that touch around the rim. 
They'll, they'll continue to work with them. Foul is on the floor, so the Vikings will inbound. Jack at the free throw line, bluffs, drives, got to the rack, put it up, no. Majak the rebound, back up, rim rolls in. Majak, his first field goal. They go with the free throw, so he has three. 68-37 Cleveland State, 6.53 to go. And then Yael Hill knocks the ball away from Isaac D. Gregorio out of bounds in the front court. Zeiss will inbound for the Lions. He'll get it into D. Gregorio. Steer it to the right wing. He'll send R.J. Marsh through and he'll drive to the baseline. Kick it out left side. Wide open. Marsh for three. Air ball. Woodridge has it for Cleveland State. He comes right to left. Bikes up by 31 with 6.38 to go. Looking for their fourth consecutive victory here today in Cleveland. Hill around a screen to the free throw line. Hill going to penetrate. No look to Woodridge underneath. Going to force it up and in. Woodridge has 13 off the bench. Unselfish by Hill who also had an open look but gave it up to his teammate for the layup. 7, 70 to 37, Cleveland State, 6.15 left. Zeiss, right wing, throws it out top, Humphreys drives, going to float, put it on the rim, no good. Rebound Woodridge for Cleveland State. Woodridge putting together a nice line off the bench. He's got 13 points, six rebounds. The other way, a three ball for Jack. Hits the bottom of the cup, timeout, Cleveland State. And it is a substitution timeout, but we haven't taken our extra media timeout so I think we're gonna have to stop it for that with 603 to go let's see here and it is a full timeout we'll take a break Three Lions 37 alongside Pat Vianchek, Al, Al Pulowski. Andrew Jerkak in the crew producing today's game, doing a great job for this holiday weekend. Uh, Andrew always, you know, he's one of those Euclid guys, man. You know, you know just like just like yourself. But you guys Euclid get it guy. done, baby. So Cleveland State on their way to their fourth consecutive win. It'll be Zeiss, Humphreys, D. Gregorio, Felix, and Dorenzio. Rienzo on the floor for Penn State Baron for Cleveland State Hill. Jack Woodridge, Majak, and Chris Green, who has checked back in. Penn State Baron with the basketball. They work left to right. De Gregorio against Hill into the front court. Take it to the right sideline. Pick it up. Throw it right wing to De Rienzo. He'll penetrate the lane. Jump stop. Throw it out to De Gregorio. Long three from 25 at the left side of the iron. No good. Chris Green, Cleveland State board up ahead. Hill into the front court. Cleveland State up 73 to 37. Hill turns, finds himself wide open, fires the tray, no good. Rebound, came out to Zeiss. He'll come ahead. 
Zeiss in the front court, gonna pull up from the right wing for three, no good off the iron. Rebound is battled for out of bounds, it goes on the baseline, it is Cleveland State ball. 5.38 to go and the Vikings in the lead, 73 to 37. And now, they're giving it to, to Barron. No, they are gonna give it to Penn State Barron. Beg your pardon. Bounce coming here, corner left, Zeiss, catch and shoot, triple, front iron and off, rebound, a battle for Woodridge has it, and they're gonna say he's out of bounds. No, I love the way Woodridge is playing, his energy, playing, going after every rebound. That's his seventh. Just gonna get better and better and better. Yeah, he's really playing, is. He's having a good ball game today. Corner right for three, Felix. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound collected by Yai. Heel ill for Cleveland State. Penn State Barron now 7 of 27 from deep. Vikings are 6 of 18 behind the three point arc. Green the other way. Drives, throws it up, no rebound. Woodridge pumps, leaves for Majak, goes to the basket, scores and foul. Great lead by Woodridge. Majak finished. He'll have an opportunity. For a three point play, Babor Majak with his second field goal. He's got five. He'll look for six at the line. All started with Woodridge's extra effort on the boards and his unselfishness, man. Dump that off. He's, you know, I love watching guys that are trying to get their teammates hooked up like that, and that's beautiful. Majak makes the free throw. He's two of three at the charity line. Six points today for Mabor Majak. That's a career high. 76 37 Vikings by 39 with 455 left. In the front court is DiGregorio, sideline right. DiRienzo out top, Humphreys plus the three. Sends it over on the left wing to Felix, out top, Zeiss. Now high post left, Humphreys against Majak. Got by him on the dribble, got to the hole, scores the layup. Nice little move there as he ripped and went. Stephen Humphreys got to the basket for his first two today to go with three boards. Yeah, Humphreys really was aggressive there. Sized up Majak and wanted to go right at him. 76-39, Cleveland State. Hill to the left, elbow on the dribble. Into the lane, push shot, one-hander from seven. Swish. Boy, Yahiel Hill has such a nice touch. He's got 11 today. 78-39, Cleveland State. Timeout. Called by Penn State Barrett. And we will take a timeout as well. This is a 30, but it should become a full. I would think we're inside the, the window. Yep. We'll take a break. 420 left. Our score, Cleveland State. Penn State Barron in the second half, 43 to 21. You know, some, a few people have asked me, why do you play a game like this uh, before you start your conference opener against a Division Three team? Well, number one, you tend to get a little bit lethargic after the Thanksgiving holiday. Everybody does. So 
This is a good way to kind of wake back up a little bit, maybe a little bit. You know, you can wake up a little slower than normal, you know, kind of roll out of bed, sort of I, wake up. I do not do that, just for and, the record. Uh, <laughs> I pop right out of bed and I'll I get to you. my workout, yeah. Well, and, and, and it'll, I think it'll it just keep us fresher and, and it'll give Coach Gates some material to work with to get them more focused for Thursday night. Meanwhile, Finn's doing dive for the ball in mid-floor off a of steal. Got it to Green. Breakaway, come on. Great hustle by Brock Finstoon, who gets up slowly holding his left elbow. But a good effort defensively. Green with the flush. 80 to 39, Cleveland State. 345 left. Front court, left sideline, it's Felix. Take it out top. Go to the right side, DiGregorio. Top to Humphreys. Dribbles down the lane. Going to the basket, floats it up. Glass rim off. Rebound. Woodrich has another. That is his eighth rebound today to go with 13 points and three assists. Front court, Finstoon. Down low, Green outside the block. Fade away from 12. Swish! Chris Green with that soft touch. Tickled the twine there. Chris Green with six. 82 39, Vikings, 312 left. De Gregorio between the circles goes high post left to Humphreys. Looks, dribbles, stops, sideline right. Sykes was a game high 18 today. Career high as well on six three pointers. Left corner now, De Gregorio for three. He knocks it down. Isaac De Gregorio, his first bucket, so he has three points, three boards, two assists today. 82 42 CSU, 245 left. Hill in the front court against the man to man. Send it over to Woodrich in front of the hash, left side. Woodrich out top hill. Take a dribble to the right elbow, back it up, go to work. Jump stop, forced it up, glass rim, yes! Yael Hill just willed that one up and in. He's got 13, 231 left. Now Cleveland State takes a sub timeout. Ben Sternberg comes in. He replaces Hill, who checks out with the 13 points, four boards. Well, his teammates will be pulling for him to get some, some points on the board. Here comes Aria Eskindari, 6'3", right. senior. He'll come in a next opportunity. Right now it's Sternberg, Green, Majak, Woodridge, Jack on the floor. To the front court, Myers. Dribbles to the left wing against Sternberg. Myers uses the pick. Head fake. Dribble to the right elbow. Throw a corner right for three. The Fukon three-point attempt is blocked. The Penn State Barons got it out to Zeiss. Open look at a triple up. It goes around the rim and out. Rebound Jack and Green went for it along with uh, Nick Felix and it went out of bounds off of Jack. It'll be Barron basketball with 2.08 to go. The Vikes in the lead, 84-42. Here comes Ari. Aria will replace Chris Green. Checks out with six points, two boards, Aria two always comes over and says hi to us before every he game. Does. Just a real gentlemanly kid, man. Just love to see him get some PT here. Yep, great kid. Sternberg, too. They, they both Absolutely, do. yeah. Here's Felix on the drive. Got to the basket, left-handed layup is good. Nice drive for Nick Felix. That was really nice. His first two, 84-44. Penn State Baron in the second half. They have nine field goals made. Six of them are three-pointers. Meanwhile, the other way. <laughs> it's our Ben Sternberg from Ari Eskinari. Count the basket. Great drive for Betty. First two, 86-44, Cleveland State. A minute 30 left. Humphreys on the red wing. On the drive, forced it up. No, but drew the foul. Yep. Foul is on Jack. His first third against Cleveland State in the second half with a minute 28 to play. Sternberg going strong. 86-44, Cleveland State. Yeah, Ben with that drive. And we've seen him hit a tough three last year. A couple yeah. of free throws in the NCAA tournament game. How now cool a strong drive for the basket. Yeah. Transfer from Lakeland Community College. First free throw by Humphreys is up and in. It's his third point today. 86-45 with a minute 28 left. One more free throw for Humphreys, the 6'7 junior from Wexford, PA. Now it's time to get Sternberg or get uh, Aria Skandaria involved here right now. Second free throw is missed. Jacques the rebound. Sternberg running the point. Pressured by Myers. Sternberg spins, sheds him, goes in the air, flips it to Jack. Back to Sternberg, left wing. Goes to drive. Down he goes. And out of bounds goes the ball off of Sternberg. <laughs> It'll be Penn State Baron basketball. Minute 11 to go. 86 45 CSU. Seth Myers put some tough defense on Sternberg right there. Myers into the front court against Sternberg. Heads to the right wing, cut off by Jack. 
Throws it to Zeiss. Throws it corner left. Felix pump fakes, dribbles in, bounce pass out to Zeiss. Flush the three. Goes down the lane. No look pass to Humphreys, and he lays it in. Nice dish from Zeiss. Good finish by Humphreys, who has five. And with 54 seconds left, the Vikings lead 86-47. Sternberg walks it across the timeline. Goes to work behind the back dribble. Crosses over in the lane. Going to force it up. No, but drew the foul on Myers. <laughs> to the delight of his teammates on the bench. Sternberg showing off some one-on-one -on -one moves. That was an ISO play right there. They, it was. They ISO'd him. They, they wanted him to go one-on-one. -on -one. I love that about Coach Gates, you know. He understands the emotional value that this kid provides every night. And he's going to reward him whenever he can. It's First awesome. of two free throws is good for Ben. He's got three points. Yeah, he's good free throw shooter. Second free throw is up. Good. All net for Ben Sternberg. He's got four. Yeah. I bet they're going to. Well, they'll probably hold the ball next possession. 88 47. Myers in the front court. Trying to throw it out top. Stolen Woodridge. Woodridge going to the rack. Got fouled as he. Mm -hmm. By Felix. Got fouled pretty hard there. And went down into the basket stanchion, but he gets up. He'll be okay. The foul on Felix. That's the eighth against Penn State Barron in the second half. His first personal. 32.1 seconds to go. Woodridge Kevel the free throws at the line to our left. Jason, two of two at the line today. He has 13 points, eight rebounds, and three assists. Yeah, he has played with a lot of energy. And, uh, we're going to need him. He bailed us out in. against Milwaukee in the Horizon League last year with the well, he had 12 straight points there in that stretch. I don't know if it was that many, but he, he did have a run for, I think yeah. he might have had eight or nine. He had three threes, and I think he, he had an and the one three. He splits the pair here. Yeah, he's he's had a good game, 14 points. Let's get Eddie on that uh, research there. Yeah, you know, Ed uh, comes up with everything. 18 seconds to go, battle for the ball, and it's won by Cleveland State. Sternberg will walk it ahead with 12 seconds to go, and that'll be it here in Cleveland. As Sternberg crosses the time stripe, and the clock will wind down. Cleveland State will win their fourth straight as they beat Penn State Barron on the first ever game between these two schools. Good effort, though, for the Lions today. Of course, Dave Nyland, a tremendous Division Three head coach, one of the best. Orange Sounds final score today at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland.